The movie starts with showing a girl named Paget waking up immediately doing makeup and then going live online and talking to her followers. She's an influencer and begins answering queries and providing beauty advice to her fans. After a while, she gets ready for school and steps out of her cool pink room into a narrow hallway in a regular-looking house. She chats briefly with her mom, who talks about working long hours at the hospital just to cover the bills. Paget then excitedly opens her mail and discovers a $3,000 check from a brand. She endorses. She wants to use it to buy more branded shoes, but her mother advises her to save some money for college. We then witness how her influence, her career, and brand endorsements bring her so much money to keep up appearances, she pretends to live. The scene in a fancy house by hanging out at a posh apartment building and having her friends pick her up later. Her best friends, Alden and Quinn, come in a convertible, and they all head to surprise Paget's boyfriend Jordan, who is shooting a music video. The scene shifts to two siblings, Bryn and Cameron, riding in a car on their way to school. Cameron is a strange and unpopular student that no one knows anything about. Even his sister Bryn is embarrassed to be seen with him in school, so she mostly avoids him. His only friend is a girl named Nisha, who is also a misfit like him, and they get along. Well, Bryn is a great admirer of Jordan's music, so Cameron makes fun of her by calling the music lame and unreal. The scene shifts back to Paget, who arrives at Jordan's shooting location. She's even baked a cake for him. The incident and before entering Jordan's trailer, she asks Alden to live stream the event on TikTok so that her followers can see it when she walks in. She is shocked to see him kissing one of the back dancers. The girl immediately apologizes to Paget and shakes her hand. Stating that she is a big fan, Paget becomes enraged and starts throwing cake, having a major meltdown in front of her millions of fans. She yells at him that they're done, and Alden grabs her attention and points out that she's still alive. Horrified, Paget looks at the phone, revealing her tear-stained face, smudged mascara, and runny nose. She then forcefully snatches the phone from Alden's hands and ends the live stream. The following day, Paget feels the aftermath distressed and doesn't want to leave her room. Her mother then arrives and informs her that breakups are complicated, but things will get better. Paget responds that it's not just the breakup, but also being humiliated in front of all of her fans. Just then, Quinn calls to check on her. Paget claims she's okay and is relieved that Jordan was exposed and that everyone now hates him. However, Quinn urges her to log into TikTok immediately to see what's going on. Paget then goes online and finds she is becoming viral for the wrong reasons. A big snot bubble was coming out of her nose when she was crying. Now she's known as Bubble Girl. The viral video has turned her into a meme subject, robbing her of her perfect girl image. She then receives a phone call from Jessica, the CEO of the beauty product company that sponsors Paget. Jessica then ends the contract with Paget because of the embarrassing situation and tells her that they can work again in the future when things settle down. Meanwhile, at At School School, Quinn and Alden are discussing the incident with Alden, claiming that Paget had it coming. Quinn is surprised and asks if she means Paget deserved what happened at Alden Clarifius, that she didn't mean that but with her high GPA, attractive boyfriend and corporate sponsor, something had to give. Eventually, when Paget arrives at school, everyone continues to mock her, while Jordan gains more attention and fans. Paget and her friends remember the time when Jordan was an overweight weird guy with bad hair. Paget claims that makeovers are her specialty and that she transformed Jordan into the man he is today, her friends, then ask why she doesn't create another Jordan. Just then, there is an announcement about the upcoming prom king and queen contest. Paget gets the idea of giving a makeover to an unpopular guy and making him prom king. It will both prove to her that she still has talent and will also annoy Jordan Alden, then bets her that she won't be able to pull it off, and the prom king three of them go out and find the perfect guy for this project. Later they come across Cameron, who is photographing a garbage can and claiming that he finds it deep. Quinn searches him online and only gets a single tweet from two years ago that says, 
No, he is strange, egotistical, and antisocial, and he's bullied by Jordan, making him the ideal candidate for their bet. The following day, Paget approaches Cameron and requests his help in photographing a fundraising event. However, he refuses to help her. Once she mentions the donation is for the prom event, which Cameron considers a waste of time. Bryn then apologizes for his brother's behavior and says that he despises all students during their talk. Paget discovers that Cameron volunteers at a horse stable during his free time, so the next day she shows up at the stable and asks him for horseback riding lessons. She then helps him in cleaning the stable, after which he teaches him how to ride a horse. He then notices that she shoots pictures every minute and makes fun of her later, when Paget tries to dismount the two fall to the ground and laugh together the next day at school. Paget thanks Cameron for the riding lesson. She then invites both Cameron and Nisha to a karaoke party. Cameron is initially karaoke reluctant, but Nisha's curiosity about the event convinces him to give it a shot. At the party, both Cameron and Nisha feel like they don't quite fit in. Paget then takes her turn at karaoke and sings beautifully. But then Jordan shows up at the party with a girl. He had cheated on this causes Paget to freeze, and she becomes extremely anxious to perform. Cameron, who has been admiring, Paget's singing rushes in to help her avoid more embarrassment. The two then put on a fantastic performance, to which everyone applauds later. Cameron offers to give the next morning Paget a ride home on his truck. Paget then intentionally leaves her purse behind as an excuse to visit him again. The next morning, Bryn bombards Cameron with questions about him and Paget, causing him to feel nervous. Meanwhile, Paget receives a call from Jessica, revealing that her duet video with Cameron has gone viral. Jessica then asks about the guy in the video. Paget replies that he's her next makeover project, aiming to make him even more popular than Jordan impressed. Jessica informs her that if she succeeds, the brand endorsement will be hers at Cameron's house. Bryn shows him the viral duet video, causing him to flush with embarrassment. Just then, Paget calls Bryn and mentions she left something in Cameron's car. Cameron tries to get Bryn to say no, but Bryn invites her over. Paget arrives and asks Cameron if they may go for another riding lesson, to which he reluctantly agrees during the riding lesson. Paget and Paget meets. Cameron Cameron start to connect on a deeper level. Paget tells him that she was looking forward to graduating from high school like him, but now that she has lost her sponsorship, she's unsure what to do with herself. Cameron admits that it sucks and shares his desire to travel the world and just take pictures. He also teases her for constantly capturing pictures of herself, for her fans to which she responds that at least she doesn't take dozens of pictures that no one will ever see. He then offers to show her what he does, and they arrive at an old but functional train station. Cameron does street photography there, and Paget has never been to a place like this before. But she is fascinated later as they're having coffee. Paget asks him why he lives with his grandma. He then informs her that his father preferred to live in Sweden after their mother died in a car accident. He shares that the camera he uses was once his mother's hearing. This Paget also opens up talking about her parents' divorce and how hard her mother works as a nurse to provide for her later. She invites him to Aiden's birthday party, which is going to be Great Gatsby-themed. Cameron accepts the invitation, asking if he can bring a few friends along, to which Paget agrees in the next scene. Paget, Cameron, Nisha, and Bryn go shopping for the party's outfits. Then Paget gives Cameron a makeover and dramatically alters him. She cuts his hair and dresses him in a suite. And now it's very obvious that Paget fancies him. They then all go to Aiden's party, where everyone is taken aback by Cameron's new appearance at Jordan, is also attending the party, and it turns out that he's been dumped by his girlfriend when he runs across Paget. He wants to reconcile with her, but she rejects him and leaves Jordan, then sets his sights on Bryn and tries to score with her. She likes him as well, but as he tries to force himself on her, she leaves and runs into her brother in the crowd. She then informs him of what just happened. Cameron becomes enraged and confronts Jordan about it. After that, the two fight, and Cameron humiliates Jordan in front of everyone.
Jordan then seeks his revenge on Cameron by tossing his precious camera into the swimming pool. Cameron runs after it and then leaves the party with his camera. Paget runs after him and apologizes for Jordan's behavior. Cameron then asks Paget why she's suddenly so interested in him, to which she has no answer. That Paget livestream night. Paget is sitting in a room removing her makeup. She then begins a live stream in which she discusses how she is always focusing on looks and attitude, but it is more important to see who you surround yourself with. Just then, she's interrupted by a text message from Jessica, who informs her that she saw the viral videos from Alden's party and that she'll be calling her shortly to talk about their sponsorship the next day at school. Cameron finds himself at the center of attention due to the viral video of his fight with Jordan. Cameron is initially put off by the idea that this has made him a contender for the prom king, but he's excited when he realizes it would mean pissing off Jordan later at school. Paget unexpectedly encounters Jordan and Alden, who are now a couple. She realizes that Alden has been after school, sabotaging her since the breakup. As she left the live stream running to humiliate her, Alden also reveals that she and Quinn know that Paget is poor, but never said it out of pity later, while Paget and Quinn are talking. Cameron arrives and apologizes for his behavior last night after school. He takes Paget to a dark room where he keeps his photographs, and the two kiss each other later. After learning that Paget kissed Cameron, Bryn advises him to ask her to prom. Cameron agrees and makes a grand gesture to invite Paget to prom. But just then, Alden appears and reveals her bet with Paget to take a loser and transform him into the prom king. Hearing this, Cameron is devastated, and he believes she was only using him for a bet. Paget tries to explain, but Cameron is so enraged that he curses and rushes away days later on the evening of the prom. Prom. Paget has a heartfelt conversation with her mom before heading to the event alone. She also talks with Bryn, who's quite upset with her. Despite the tension, Paget admits her feelings for Cameron and asks Bryn for help in getting him to the prom. Later, Bryn finds Cameron at work and shares how he's been returning to his true self while spending time with Paget. She tells him that they lost their mother and urges him not to lose. Paget as well, at the prom. Paget and prom speech. Jordan are crowned prom queen and king in her speech. Paget opens up about her true self, admitting that her social media persona is fake. She even shows them their real house and the fact that her mother works as a nurse. She reveals that she's been pretending to be someone she's not and decides to give up her crown. After this, Alden believes she's now prom queen, but the principal reveals that she lost by a lot and that another student called Celeste is the actual new prom queen. Outside, the prom pageant receives a text from Cameron saying he loved her speech. He then rides up on a horse to see her. The two apologize to each other, and they share a heartfelt kiss. The scene then shifts to a few months later, as Paget broadcasts from Portugal with Cameron. They're traveling around the world together this summer as a part of Paget's punishment for losing the bet. They both get loser tattoos and the movie ends.